Welcome to the Living in Sedona channel. Today on this video, we're going to be talking with the chef of the famous restaurant Malay. So stick around and see what he has to say. channel that is L-I-V-I-N in Sedona. I'm Cami, and I am one of your local real estate agents serving the Sedona and Verde Valley area. Today we are at Malay. Am I saying that Malay? right? Yep. Malay. And we are talking with Chef Roberto Madrid. And he is the head chef, correct? Correct. Correct here at, at Malay. And so he's going to share some thoughts with us on this restaurant. But first I want to know how did you become a chef? How long have you been a chef? What was your experience? Kind of tell us a little bit about what makes you a chef. A chef. Start off around like more than 40 years ago. No, I was, I was a I young you're 21. Forever. I will be 21 forever. <laughs> uh, you know what? I start like most kids at that time, you know, like watching dishes, kind of, you know, getting my hands in the with the knife and doing little prep here and there. So, you know, I, I, I was always intrigued about, you know, like how people can produce so much food in such a short period of time. So I'm like, you know, I, that was like, I was like, I gotta learn how to do this. So I started getting involved and started asking questions and so I started really, you know, right, like right there. And then I, but the best part is I start hanging out with the right people. Yeah, so you almost like an apprenticeship. An like apprenticeship. You trained on the job. So About, where were you at during that time? What well, you know what, I was, let's see, my first hotel was, it's called the Phoenician Hotel. Phoenician is oh, one of the nicest. Little Phoenician. That little Phoenician. <laughs> that was back in, back in 88 or 89. Okay. So I was part of, part of the opening team. Wow. So that was pretty much when I started kind of, you know, getting more uh, like serious about my business and then uh, being part of the opening team really exposed me to do something that I never thought of. And then, so Chef saw the potential and they're like, hey, you know what, this kid wants to grow. So I started getting involved with those, you know, uh, corporate programs. After that, I, I went to the, uh, it's called the, Hyatt Ganey Range, another real fancy, nice boutique hotel in Scottsdale. And then I really, really started really getting into the, uh, the uh, not just the cooking part, but also, you know, the management part of it. Okay. So I enrolled myself in this at, uh, it's called the Hyatt University. So really, it was the you to learn about, you know, the uh, finances. The business side of it. Learn how to the and, you know, those things. So, I, you know, it's a really, that's basically those two hotels where I start, you know, kind of doing that, start getting more responsibilities, learning different areas, banquets, garmache, sassier, restaurants, you know, a little bit of desserts. So, you know, it was, uh, it was, it's been a long run. Yeah. So, you mentioned the Venetian, so California, Venetian. you've been in Scottsdale. So, how did you come to Sedona? It's a good question. You know, um, in my last hotel, it's called the, the Western Killing by the Killing Commons, North Scotland. So the owner of this corporation used to go and eat at that place. It's called the sale. The sale was like the, uh, the specialty restaurant of the, of the hotel. Okay. And then, uh, uh, you know, he liked it and, you know, we started talking and he approached me and, you know, he, uh, he was interested in uh, what I was doing and offered me a job. It's a job. And then he told me that he owns different properties here in Arizona and California. So, and then he told me about the mullet concept here in Sedona, which kind of fit my background, Mexican, Mexicano, right? Yeah. So, um, he started to, you know, kind of, kind of fall in. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that was, that's how you came to be here. That's how I came to Sedona and I love Sedona. Yes. Because What's your favorite it, uh, thing about Sedona? Okay, you know what? Uh, I like the fact that in here there's so much opportunity to to uh, engage local people, which I think is is critical. Yes. I want people to know who we are, what we do, what our goal is. 
So it's a, a real uh, Mexican experience at that level. So your goal at Malay is to really have residents, local residents, experience this this culture, this cuisine in a different way that maybe they had it thought about. So what is your favorite thing to eat on the menu? I think I have quite a few, to be honest. Uh, but I, I, I can give you a, a few, a couple, I guess. Um, one that I really, really like is the, uh, it's called the tan pequeña. Tan pequeña is a, it's, it's, it's a style of, style of uh, beef, carne asada. And the way that we do it is more with the, uh, with the prime, you know, skirt steak that we marinate overnight with you know, this. Marinate a long time. Yeah. yeah. Using a pasote, you know, the hoja santa. In Greece, most people don't understand it. Very flavorful. So we marinate those, and then at, uh, when we serve it, we uh, uh, they come with these. Uh, it's called papas bravas, it's like a Spanish Mexican kind of combination of potatoes. So it's a little smoky. So when you combine that with the prime skirt steak with a little bit of the herb olive oil, yeah. that's like like, like awesome. an explosion in your mouth. Yeah. I like to be able to taste my food when I wake up the next morning. There you go. <laughs> you're still licking your lips. You're like, man, I gotta yeah. come back. <laughs> so, what is your favorite thing to cook? And again, or I should I say think, create. You know what? Honestly, I in the last, I want to say the last 12 years, I've been putting a lot of effort into a um, crudos, ceviches. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us today. I love the fact that you mentioned you've been to various areas in our in the in the world, not only just in this country, but in the world to um, learn and create and bring it back. Because we're, I feel like we're very fortunate to live in Sedona because of the chefs that we have here, because they really uh, go in depth on how to do their job like to the fullest extent. So if you have not been to Mole, you need to come, come. and uh, let him know that you saw this video on YouTube so he'll know that it works. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for My your time pleasure. today. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Make it a great day.